Tonight, from SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. see Matthew Stafford and the Los Angeles Rams taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store between the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Rams. And we are underway from SoFi Stadium. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by a longtime starter in the NFL, a former number one overall pick way back in 2009. It's Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick throughout his career. He's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. Now a first down throw, Stafford. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. Simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. From the 50, Stafford. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. A six-yard pickup on the ground that time, and that'll make it third and four coming up. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here's Stafford. And able to find Higby, it's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down. They needed three, he doubled that, he got six. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. Stafford going to give to Akers on the draw. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, 
They're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Going to run the sweep here. This is Cobb. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Tackle made there by Jordan Poyer. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Throwing on second and eight, Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. And he's got it. That's cut for a Ram touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Rams are going to take a first-quarter lead. That was a really good opening drive on a number of fronts. Ten plays, very methodical, set the tone. So you know right now, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're on the sidelines saying, okay, what do we have to dial up in order to get off the field a lot faster? Because both sides are out there for ten plays, but one side comes off energized, and the other side comes off with some questions. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. It's Josh Allen that'll be orchestrating the offense, a 6'5 quarterback from Wyoming. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. There aren't too many guys who can do both. At the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now, here comes the ball and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Allen's throw is complete. And some room to work. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A big game there for the Bills. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll put it in the hands of their receiver, Sanders. The all-pro Von Miller there on the tackle. That's a really nice play, being able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Meanwhile, Allen's throw here, taken in by Knox. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. Well, they were looking to pick up the first down on third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for, finding the end zone as well. And oftentimes in short yardage situations, you get a lot of defenders stacked near the line of scrimmage, partner. So if you can get past that first wave, there's usually room to roam, and he found it. 
Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said <laughs> than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Now a throw here. Hold in. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he's going to have a Rams first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. thinking on defense there. They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. On first down, Stafford here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. They'll run on first down with Akers. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. Throwing a Stafford. A quick pass to Cup. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it, we can always lock in on the skill position, guys. Those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. The second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? Stafford's throw here, hauled in by Cup, And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Back to the air, Stafford on second down. Touchdown, Rams! Matthew Stafford, two touchdown passes in this first quarter. And the Rams have taken the lead. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Returning it, Isaiah McKenzie. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out 
just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Three yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone on the... Allen hit, he lost the football. And now the Rams have got it, going the other way. And to the 40-yard line, that's... Well, the return stops. That's unfortunate because he had a nice run going. But give credit to the defense. They got a hand in the cookie jar there, CD. You have to think about vision, finding a place to get down after you know you've gotten all you can out of a run. And obviously, ball security is paramount. In today's football, everyone's coming after the rock. You've got to make sure you protect it and protect the yardage you just gained. On second and 10, Stafford. This one to the left to Higby. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Nice job there finding room to maneuver. And he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start. But boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. Stafford on first down. Look at this time for once, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. And now they'll throw with Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. He's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shallow him across all that ground. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Allen. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum Big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. On third down, they go with Singletary. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. 
In lieu of the sneak on fourth and inches, they just say, give it to the big man in the backfield. Yeah, fullback no less. Not many of those left in the NFL, but for those that have one, perfect time to use them, perfect time to get it done. Allen's throw caught by Sanders. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. After a play like that, there should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 38. Pass the 20. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for the Rams. Touchdown. Well, partner, I do know this. If you're a defensive back, you have more chances to make a team now than ever because people are using five defensive backs, six defensive back packages. Not exclusively, but way more than before. That was a nickel package there, and what a pickoff. Why is that? Why are they using that more? Because more people are throwing the ball on earlier downs than ever before. This has become a passing league, and because of that, more defensive backs on the field on most plays. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Buffalo offense and Devin Singletary heading back out there. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To throw, it's Allen. And Sanders has got it complete. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. 50 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Allen going to throw. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. On first down, Singletary. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Play action. Now it's Allen. Out to the left. He's got his tight end, Knox. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. 
And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A great play there. Taking it in. And the Bills draw a bit closer. Bass on for the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. A 10-play drive that time. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. The Rams on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Woods. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now the Bills are going to stop it as they call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. They'll run on first down. Akers. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Stafford now to throw. Throw right side, going to be caught by Higby. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Isaiah McKenzie is back deep for the Bills. And you can't do it much better than that. This ball kicks out of bounds at the four-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in on. And this one nearly picked off. Kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. And they'll get him down short of the first down, right on the 10-yard line. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. Here's Matt Hawk now. As his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. <laughs> Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And now, goodness, possession's going to go over right at the 10-yard line. On first and 10, Stafford. And yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. Touchdown! Make that now three first-half touchdown passes for Matthew Stafford. And the Rams are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Yeah. 
Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead now up to 14. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And the Bills getting set to go. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down, it caused, all of it caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain, so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Here's Allen on first and ten. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. It's complete to Diggs. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise, and start to put together some drives. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Well, the first two drives yielded touchdowns, so there's no reason for them to feel like they have to pull back on the reins. They pushed it downfield, looking for another one right there. Didn't get it but we know they're going to continue to be bold. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Allen again here on second and ten. And that is incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in ten, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Working the middle here, that's complete to Knox, the tight end. And the Bills are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll look to run with Singletary. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Just a gain of a yard in what all likelihood will be the final play of the first half. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back under. On EA Sports. 
Isaiah McKenzie now on the return. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Bills offense set to take over to begin quarter number three. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers. A little bit more to the perimeter, perhaps. But above all, play your game. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 76 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. They'll run here with Singletary. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? And that nearly intercepted. It's incomplete. Now, remember, he had a pick earlier, but couldn't reel that one in. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Allen. And he comes back with one complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Second and ten. He was looking for Devin Singletary there, but it's going to be second down. On the give, this is Singletary. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. On the handoff, it's Singletary. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, OK, if we gain yard. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. Devin Singletary, his second touchdown of the night. And the Bills have cut it to within a score. On third down, it's short and everything well executed. He not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations. But there's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? They
Thinking that they may play action you, they took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Matthew Stafford and the rest of the Rams offense set to take over once more. And a trio of touchdown passes so far. They've got the lead as well. All is good in their football world at this point. And it's so much fun for our colleagues, right? Think about our producer, our director, everyone putting together these shots. Wouldn't you love to be in the truck right now and hear a call for it? Give me that one, give me that one, give me that one. And we just saw three beautiful touchdown passes. Now he's looking for four. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. That was a route run not just with dexterity but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now it's Stafford. Then he'll find his target, Woods. It's complete. A gain of six there on first. Second and four. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. And his throw here is incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass and you blew coverage on, what'd you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded, cold-blooded. <laughs> Throwing is Allen on third. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Maybe a frustration penalty there, because he's picked them apart. They've tried their best to get to him, and haven't done it successfully. A penalty as a result of that hit there. On the counter, this is Singletary. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Allen going to get this one to Singletary. And he's going to get this inside the 30. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Allen now on first down. And Diggs has it. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 
I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Second down at four. They will run with Singletary. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. So he's in for his third score of the game, and a defense probably saying, man, we, we don't want to see this guy for a long time. It's bad enough when anyone scores a touchdown against you, but for one person to get three, it almost sets him apart from the rest of the game, and no one likes to see any of those players on a pedestal, not from the defensive point of view. Extra point by Bass, up and good, and that will tie our game here in the third. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Getting set to go again, Matthew Stafford trots back onto the field. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your quarter? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. When I played in college, our first rule for every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball, not turn it over, keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win? Well, that's what he's done here in this one so far. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that'll make it third and 13. Now Stafford. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. Third quarter all tied up. This is second and 10. Throwing now is Allen. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Going deep for Diggs. And he fires one that's intercepted. He's picked off near his own 48. Bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Extra point by Gain is up and good, and they will take a seven-point lead. So they'll get another shot off. 
Jones following that pick six. And now the kick is away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. Now Allen to try again after the pick six. He's got it complete to Diggs right side. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. They've definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. On play action, Allen. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL. But if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. Here's Allen. This is brought in by the tight end, Tommy Sweeney. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. So eight yards on the completion there, and that'll bring up fourth down. Tyler Bass out for the Bills' field goal. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And that'll bring him back within four. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that, because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. The veteran Jerry Hughes drops the hammer in the backfield. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Stafford. It's caught by OBJ. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. And a good burst there gets him seven up to midfield. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box? On 
first down. Allen going deep for Diggs. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So pass interference the call, and that does not look to be going over too well on the defensive side. Or on their sideline, because I believe their head coach is saying right now, hey, you've got to call that both ways. He's going to go deep for Beasley. But oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone. And, they and Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off at the 11. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So pass interference, the call there always, obviously, Charles, such a subjective call. You agree with the penalty? Well, from where we're standing right now, I think the officials are tightening things up here in the second half. Maybe a defender gets away with that in the first. But this time the flag comes out, and I think it's a good call. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. On play action, Allen. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Operating from the red zone now, Allen. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And the Rams are going to take possession here at their own four. in a game before, and right now, after that one, he's standing on number four. And right now, your defensive coordinator is asking the offensive coordinator, can you do anything to slow this down? Because my guys have to keep running back out on the field, so play calling may come into it a little bit, maybe run the ball a little bit more, but a lot of it depends on the scoreboard. They may have to keep throwing it. And it's fielded at the 34. Good catch there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. From the 40 now on second down. Allen looking for Sanders here on the deep ball. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Emmanuel Sanders, 60 yards. 
yards. And the Bills have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Rams ready to go on offense. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw complete there to Beckham. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Well, I've never seen this one. It's second down, and the punt team is out there. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And this will be touched down inside the 20. They'll spot it at the 18-yard line. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. They'll roll him out right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Clock running, about to hit 90 seconds to go in the game. And meanwhile, Allen's throw here, taken in by Knox. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understand where they are in the field? Allen. And now here's another interception. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. Well, you knew he had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it, and that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill, the offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And Gay knocks this one through. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So that gets him a little bit of breathing room, but not much. And you have to think back to the field goal that he missed earlier. This would be a two-score game right now if he had converted them. And if you and I are thinking about it, you know he is as well, because in the back of his mind, he's thinking, I hope I get one more shot in an important spot. He And he wants one more later to truly make up for the earlier miss. Josh Allen in the offense now. Down by six. A minute 16 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. But they will fight. yard line when you talk about making winning plays that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception huge i like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done in this case nursing a lead they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off yeah he was looking for the checkup bounce didn't get it that scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback here's the buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here they're down here in a one score game but the time it's a factor and he can't get a throw away he's taken down now the bills will hustle to the line allen and he can't get a throw off he's taken down what a huge play at this point in the game so after
the sack. Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Here's Allen. And he fires one, but incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. One final try here for Allen. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. Stafford. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And the Bills are right back in this football game. Wait a second. They declined the penalty? I'm as puzzled as you are, partner. I don't understand how any time you lose possession of the ball, Yet you turn down a penalty that would give you possession back? Now let's make this simple. Anyone who plays the game, take the football. Always take the football. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. Now Allen, he's going to let it fly, launches deep, a jump ball, and this is caught. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot.